What's up, people? It's a beautiful day here in Mayro. Mayro. We have the boat What's a little up, messy guys? with the laundry. Yes. So you can see all the laundry. We have the foil thing working a little bit, you know, boat life. Yes. Right? So we just moved the boat because yesterday we were pretty tight to another boat. So we went more near the shore. You can see there. Pretty nice. So yeah, the ocean here is beautiful. So we're gonna walk along the beach. And then hopefully we'll go and do some snorkeling there. That's like a little reef. And yeah, you can see the anchor tree is really tight. Really tight. Ready? Ready to go. Oh, you're so pretty. Thank you, baby. You can see how beautiful the water is. It's like crystal clear, blue water. Super beautiful, but the anchorage is also super packed. Yeah, because every time like another boat would anchor right next to us, we would have just a really bad night because you're always thinking that, you know, we're gonna crash because last night was pretty windy and if the boats rotate, like you can always, you know, hit a boat. So Alejo woke up like at 3 a.m., put a bunch of fenders. So this morning we said, no, we're moving to the front line. So we're moving to the first line, be the first ones by the beach. That way nobody can anchor or attach to a mooring ball in front of us. Hakuna is right there. Why? Why do they sell shark teeth? It is so freaking sad Because the shark teeth is not like they fall off the shark and they just grab the teeth They actually have to kill the shark to get their teeth So don't buy souvenirs that include the teeth of a shark Because you're supporting the killings of the sharks so We're going to a supermarket Mama G one of the hardest things here is that you cannot find a decent supermarket like even in Union Island it was the supermarket was pretty much the size of our room this is paradise ah you think you think The dinghy! It went away. We came back from the beach, had a big massive lunch, and now we're gonna head snorkeling before the sun goes down. Alejo is already in the water. And we have some big serious news about what we're going to do after this. But let's go snorkeling first. And before we keep going with today's video, you can see me wearing my new headphones from Black Fisk. And these headphones are the coolest underwater headphones because they can go up to 90 feet deep and you'll be jamming to the best music, the music that you love the most. So if you guys know me and you have seen me, you know that I absolutely love music. I love dancing, I love singing, I do sing in the shower. And these headphones will help me now sing underwater and be jamming to my favorite music. So Black Fisk is going to be at the Miami Bow Show Today, they have been there the entire weekend. Make sure you check them out if you guys are heading to the Miami Boat Show and give them the discount code HAKUNA. They will give you a 10% discount on anything you buy, including dinghies, headphones, wetsuits, anything. They have it all. So make sure you check them out. I am going to be jamming underwater with my new headphones. See ya.
<laughs> what do you think of the darkling here? <laughs> yeah, there's really nothing to see aside from garbage and trash. Yeah, it wasn't. We didn't see anything. No reefs. No nothing. Just a lot of plastic, which is very sad. And I think you know what? The, the, one of the things that has actually motivated us, motivated us to do things differently is being remote island full and packed with plastic. And that's the reason why, if you guys don't know, we live from our online business. And seeing remote beach beaches like this and seeing so many plastic and so much plastic is what has actually inspired us to do things differently. And that's why we already changed all our supplements to be free of plastic. And hopefully by the end of this year, we will get rid of all our plastic, including our grooming supplies. So we were actually thinking of heading to the ABC and that was the plan for us just to head to the ABC and something will too. So it's been our dream to go to a very special place of the world called Los Roques in Venezuela. Um, for a long time we've been really wanting to go because it's a really good high boarding spot. It's very untouched, very remote. Um, it has surfing, it has a lot of good diving. Because of the situation of how things are in Venezuela right now, we haven't been able to go. We were scared of going because there's a lot of piracy around the coast of Venezuela. We were thinking of heading to Bonaire. We realized that Los Roques was actually only like 80 miles away from, from Bonaire. Um, and we started doing some research and stuff, and we actually found that a few people were just there, a few cruisers. They were just there in November and December, and they had nothing negative to say. Uh, actually, the, the bad things that have happened around Venezuela have all been in mainland Venezuela, not in Los Roques. Uh, most people that head over to Los Roques, they don't like go next to Venezuela. They keep a little bit more north, like at least 25 to 50 miles offshore. Yeah. So most people go from like say St. Vincent, Martinique, or something like that. So they go more of an angle into Los Roques, and that's what we're gonna be doing. Now what we're going to do is because Venezuela they only accept U.S. dollars, um, and there's nothing that you can buy there. There's you can't provision there. We're going to head to either St. Vincent or Bequia, 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 something like that which is uh, one of the, are uh, like the two big islands here in St. Vincent and Grenadines. And we're going to stop up there, get provisions, get some cash, so that we can prepare for our time in Venezuela, guys. So we can't wait to show you one of the spots that very few people get to visit. And it's exciting that we get to go to our neighbor country. You know, we're, you guys know that we're from Colombia, so going to Venezuela is like, it's like you know, pretty close. So stay tuned, make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell so you can be notified when we upload new videos. Look at my personal chef. Hello. Well, hello. What are you making, baby? We're doing noodles. Why Stir fried noodles. <laughs> Why are we doing noodles? I don't know because we don't have much food to eat. So we well, that looks really good, baby. Yeah, we'll see how it, how it ends. Um, yeah, we're pretty low on food, especially since we don't have a garden anymore. And the grocery stores here are really small, and they barely Sorry. have anything. Barely have anything, and whatever you find, it's like ten times the price, right? Very expensive, people. Very expensive. It's a beautiful Sunday here in Grenada. Beautiful Wait, Sunday we're not in Grenada in anymore. We're in Grenadines. <laughs> in Grenadines, and today we thought about going to the beach and just kind of like setting a little. Um, like our little tent and just spending the Sunday there. Um, but first we were gonna have lunch, we watched some YouTube, I did my nails, we spent some quality time doing self-care. Oh yeah, and my back is hurting a lot today. I don't know, Alejo put some cream this morning. He was being a good husband, right baby? Very, very good husband. <laughs> get a little massage, you know. Yeah, and hopefully it will get better because next week is Hiding season, hiding, wait, not next week, what? Tomorrow? Starts tomorrow. Oh, it starts tomorrow. The wind starts tomorrow. It's gonna be super windy, and we really want our kite board. It's gonna be here for another couple of days while the wind lasts. Enjoy the kiting. And then we're heading off to, did we decide where we're going, if St. Vincent or Becchia? I think so. Yeah, so we're heading to Becchia, which is like one of the biggest islands. 
Island had two lost rockets to Venezuela. San Alejo does not like cooking whenever we're low on groceries. He hates it because he has to get really creative on what to yes. eat, right? <laughs> this guy can live from sandwich. So if he has bread, sandwich um, and cereal, sandwich and cereal, and right now he doesn't have sandwich or cereal. So he gets a little frustrated. But yeah, we're gonna make sure also that our barbecue is working again because we hope when we get to Venezuela, we hope to spearfish a lot and spend a lot of time in the water and finding lobsters and fish and all these awesome animals. That looks good, baby. Uh, it's been a rough couple of days. It's been already like two and a half days that I've been with like this back situation. So if you suffer from chronic pain, know that I feel your pain. It hurts a lot. You feel like an old lady. You know, today, like right now I'm able to walk. Like sometimes you're just barely able to walk, barely able to get up. But anyway, let's go jump on the water. Take jump. a break. What are you gonna do? Jump on the water. Jump in the water. We don't jump on the water. Okay, we so jump you said the jump water. on the water. <laughs> Nice. You see a color of the ocean. <laughs> Alejo spent the, the other day just cleaning the boat by himself for the first time because there's something I don't like about living on the boat is cleaning the bottom of the boat. I really dislike it. And this boat seems huge. You know, it doesn't seem that big when you're living on it. Well, actually it does. It's a pretty nice and comfy boat. But yeah, Alejo did a really good job cleaning it. Check it out. Looks pretty nice. I'm glad that we raised the, um, the water line because as you can see before, the water line was around here and we would get all of this yellow. So now that we raised the water line, we don't have that problem. So this is the inside of the boat. It looks pretty nice. Still keeping me clean. And I love the gray that we did here. What do you think? Is it good? I don't know. I don't know if this paint is any good or we damage the paint. Really? Because yeah, it's sure. coming out again? It's coming out. Lots of growth. Do you think we messed up by leaving the boat uh, like... The water. But do you think that was it or do you think it's actually the paint? I think it was just leaving the boat without cleaning for a long time. Jesus, I told you. I wanted to talk to you guys about how the past couple of months have been kind of like a little update from my last video about how I have been feeling on the boat, my mental health, how I've been doing. When I posted the video three months ago about how I was feeling anxiety and depression and all this stuff, I was super overwhelmed by the amount of positive messages that I received from you guys. Um, and I really, from the bottom of my heart, I wanted to respond to all of them, but my, my, my head just wasn't in the right place and I just didn't feel like doing it and like taking on more things to do. I've looked back to how this past couple of months have been and everything that I learned and I think definitely by far and this has been the, the, my year of transformation, if you want to call it that. The year where I have definitely learned the most about what I want. And look at this monkey before I keep going. <laughs> what are you doing, baby? I'm here reporting from the coconut tree on the very tip. And uh, you can see a view from here. Pretty nice. Hakuna is right there. Right there. guys Alejo disrupted my talk with you my very intimate talk um, but anyway as I was saying so yeah it was definitely the most transformative year of my life and I learned that you know you get anxiety when you're living on the future and you get depressed when you're living in the past and 
eventually if you're leaving enough time in the future which was what, what I was doing I was you know working so much and preparing so much for all my work um, and what I wanted for the future and what I wanted for our goals that I completely lost track of actually living in the present and eventually if you're living in the future enough your present doesn't become as awesome as you're actually as it actually is and so you're hoping that you can get those moments from the past back and that you're living in the past and that's when you get depressed I think we are all a work in progress and I think you know we're all trying to live our best life and we're all trying to do our best for me I learned that I don't have to take on everything four months ago I was feeling very stressed out just about like the amount of work that we had on our business just the fact that I had to keep up with the videos like I didn't have to but I also wanted to keep up with the videos for you guys I had to like update our patrons and just like the amount of work and just in general that takes from just living on the boat you know and just having the dogs as well just taking them every day to the beach and making sure they're healthy and Echo wasn't feeling so good so that was very stressful as well I learned that I don't have to take on everything the first thing that I did what that was very helpful is like okay you know I love all of you guys I love all the viewers all the people that support us so much and I especially loved our patrons a lot but um, it was just becoming stressful for me just thinking that you know they were supporting us every single month and we weren't giving back enough to them so I decided to close patreon and and you know that was like a good decision that was super healthy for us my entire life I thought you know I can live in an island in the middle of nowhere I'll be fine seeing my family once or twice a year and as long as I have Alejo with me I'm happy and and you know I'm living my best life and, and you know with the pups and everything and I realized that that wasn't true I learned this when we spent a lot of time we spent like about a week with Alejo's nephew he's only two years old and he's like and kids are just the purest most innocent beings in the world through things like society says to us like just friends and family and things comments that they make or experiences that we have gone through that just kind of like make our heart break a little bit and we just get away from that we start getting away from just that being of pure and innocent love if you want to call it that so I think it was a combination of things that happened that were making me just feel the way I was feeling and I think we made the best decision when we decided to go to the United States and we spent so much time with my family and my friends we all have our little issues and we all should do our best to fix them and a psychologist is a will give you the tools and will give you like great help and great support and I think you know for me now what we're working with with my psychologist is like looking back at my life and seeing you know the little tiny moments that have made a huge impact in the person that I am today. I had the most amazing childhood. My my childhood was amazing. My parents are the most supportive and loving parents that anyone can have. And even then, you know, we all have these little issues and it's important to just make it normal and normalize it that, and it's okay to look for help and it's okay to just not be okay. And I think that's what I learned this year. It's as if you guys were comparing your lives to our lives and we had never shared our struggles with you you would think that we're living this perfect life when in reality we're not and we have our own things and we go through our own little struggles and you're there thinking no oh, they're living in paradise you know they don't have a worry in life and I'm here sitting on my sofa not doing anything with life so if you think that way it's important not to compare because we're all going through our own struggles it's a lot easier to pick up the camera when everything's positive when everything's good than when things are bad like nobody I mean, I, it was really hard for me that day to pick myself, to pick the camera and record myself just crying and just having the worst time ever. And I didn't want to do it, but the reason why I wanted to do it was just my motivation to do it was just so that, because I felt guilty for sharing positive things when I was feeling so bad inside. And what we see online and what we see in social media is not always the reality because some people make the choice to not pick up the camera ever even if they're having a really rough time and show always whatever's perfect so comparing ourselves big no i have the most supporting and the most amazing husband and he supported me through everything he gave me oh i'm sorry all the love that i needed all the support i'm gonna be changing the air filter on the compressor so this is the first time we do it uh we're supposed to change the filter like the air filter 
every six months and the filter goes in here so i'm gonna open this and i'm gonna fill up the tanks just to have them filled up it's not good to leave the diving tanks empty you can do like condensation and rust inside so no good no bueno no bueno so this is the old filter i don't know it doesn't look bad or it doesn't look that good it doesn't look too good it looks dirty it's the new one see the difference i mean they look very similar this one feels heavy i guess it's been wet like it did its use so we're gonna put this one in should be good to go so this is the new one it has the blue sticker it changes white when it's done so just gonna screw that in the other filter i will want to change is this one right here so this one looks brand new so how it smells it smells like brand new doesn't smell like anything I'm gonna put this one back it looks pretty good still good shape we're done with the filter another thing we need to change on this one since it was brand new it says every five hours well for the first five hours change the oil oil on the compressor so it's the oil from this not the engine it looks pretty dark to be only five hours so that's why it says change it in the first five hours i guess it looks really dark we drain all the oil it doesn't look too good it looks horrible this oil is clear like super clear when it's brand new we put in the oil that is recommended for the system which is cold tree oil is this is what we use open this little bulb so the oil would would go in so this oil is like super clear guys look at this it's super clear okay people so now we got it working i filled on one tank so it's working perfectly we have the other tank connected so we're gonna start filling the second tank and yeah pretty nice 